In this series on ductwork, I've tried to give you some tools on how to find problems with ductwork, failures uh, that are common, pressure drop across components, you know, coils, filters, you know, filters are a big problem. Uh, even clean filters, if they're the wrong type, are a problem. But I've tried to give you some tools to look at these things and find out where the problem is and what it should look like. There are some things that this video won't do. There's quite a bit of ductwork out there that really wasn't done very well to start with. And that's kind of unfortunate. However, it is one of the things that you should be looking for. Is there excessive drop in the return? Is there excessive drop in the supply? You can't fix something that has a problem with ductwork without considering the quality of the ductwork that's installed. And so there are some problems with just simply too much drop because of the ductwork design. And those I haven't really dealt with in this one. I will try to put out something on design of ductwork and what's the best way to put it in. By the way, everything I'm talking about is residential. It's got nothing to do with commercial. Commercial is just a different ball game. And I'm not going to be dealing with that, at least not yet. There are a few things, however, that I did not go over and that you can't read with a manometer on ductwork. Because if you watch these videos, you've noticed that virtually everything is done with a manometer in this stuff. When I talk to you about total static pressure, that was always external of the air handler. There is static pressure drop inside the air handler. The heat exchanger, if it's a gas or oil furnace, there's a certain pressure drop across that heat exchanger. Also, in some of the newer furnaces, they have a secondary heat exchanger that's very similar to an air conditioning coil. And I have done a video on you know cleaning these secondary heat exchangers because sometimes they will get dirty and you will not be able to determine by taking measurements outside of the furnace of static pressure. It, it, it won't tell. It just shows that the furnace doesn't put out very much static pressure. So secondary heat exchangers are one of the things that you're going to need to be looking at when you're uh, running out of answers for what's wrong with ductwork. And of course the blower wheel is always there. Uh, cleaning a blower wheel that has quite a bit of dirt in it, it sometimes makes a pretty spectacular difference in how well that thing performs. When you're working with ductwork, duct you do need to consider those internal components when you're trying to figure out what's wrong. You know, if you have a freezing up air conditioning coil and pressure drop across it isn't too bad, but you don't have a lot of static pressure to start with, then you gotta look inside this thing. Pull the blower off, uh, look at the secondary heat exchanger, and of course, look at the blower wheel. So, these are the things, I hope I've covered most of the stuff you need to look at. But do consider, if you can't find what's going on, you can't figure out what's, why this thing is not performing like it should, take a look at that secondary heat exchanger and the blower or something. Okay, that's it on this one so far.